Hello again, Catherine here with the Alaska Songbird Institute. And for our next video, who likes colors? Birds come in all different colors. Many even have signature color patterns or other features that make them unique. These are called field marks and help us identify species. A field mark might be an orange belly, a black cap, or fancy golden head plumes. Some species are even named after their field marks. This yellow rumped warbler is named for its distinctive, you guessed it, yellow rump. These warblers, affectionately nicknamed butterbutts, are common in interior Alaska. The field marks that are most important for distinguishing species will be listed in your field guide. Check your field guide for field marks. To learn field marks, it helps to know the body parts of birds. This makes it easier to remember what a bird looked like once it's out of sight. Was it yellow on the crown, chest, or belly? Check out Cornell's Bird Anatomy website for an interactive way to learn. Or reference the diagrams in the front of your field guide. Now, bird color is tricky. Birds of the same species can look different based on their age, their sex, and the time of year. Gotta look spiffy for breeding season. Plus, feather colors can look very different based on light conditions. This is especially true for blue or iridescent feathers. Most feather colors, red, yellow, brown, black, are pigments in a bird's feathers, like the dye that colors a t-shirt. Blue and iridescent feathers get their color from light reflecting off of microscopic structures in the feathers, not unlike how a soap bubble gets its color. Without the right lighting, the vibrant colors disappear. Under light, a Stellar's J feather looks bright blue. When lit from behind, that same feather looks brown. Long story short, you can't always rely on color for bird ID. But don't worry, a good field guide will tell you what a bird looks like in all of its forms. And plus, it's best to consider more than just color when identifying birds. Think about size, shape, habitat, and behavior as well. One of the most powerful ways to learn about birds is to see them up close. Bird banding is a technique that scientists use to study birds. There are bird banding stations across the country where you may be able to visit or even volunteer. If you're in Fairbanks, come visit the Alaska Songbird Institute's bird banding station at Creamers Field. To learn more, check out our website. Let's end with one of the best tips of all. Get a good look at that bird while you can. Eyes on the prize. Once you've gotten a good look, or once the bird is gone, then you can check your field guide. Recap time. Field marks are the features that we use to identify birds. Color patterns can be a great field mark, but they can also be deceiving. Combine multiple characteristics when you're IDing a bird. ASI has other handy videos that you can use to identify birds. Check them out. Coming up next, we have our video on using habitat and behavior to identify birds. Thanks for watching. See you next time.